Frank Goshen has cemented himself as one of the most popular and elusive artists in the game, dropping a number of iconic projects. But both 2012's Channel Orange and 2016's Blonde are highly reviewed, praised, and sometimes even pitted against one another. In May, the nomadic artist's mother picked her favorite, but the decision wasn't easy. Um, she... Blonde. No, wait. I'm telling you. I'm trying, they were both so good, like this is crazy. So we decided to put the two critical darlings to the test. Using data from our site, we're breaking down both albums and coming out with a winner. First, let's take a look at the project's lead singles. Think About You from 2012's Channel Orange established a clear tone for the project and had everyone in their feelings. I've been thinking about you, do you think about me still? Do you, do you, or do you not think so far? The track put Frank Ocean on the map, with its honest storytelling and high-pitched crooning about unrequited love. And who could forget this iconic vine? A potato flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess it made, it usually doesn't rain in Southern California. Frank's sophomore album starts with Nikes, which introduce a wide range of production styles hinting at the technical complexity of the album. The track presented an array of voice modulation, and he rounded it out with a verse showcasing his rapping abilities. Feels like a past life. Speaking of the don't work out in the people, devil be possessor, homies, demons try to body jump. Why you think I'm in this bitch when a fucking yamaka? Nike's brings in 1.8 million page views, but Thinking About You takes the cake with almost double at 3.3 million, which makes Thinking About You Frank's most viewed song on Genius.com. Yes, of course. I remember how could I forget how you feel. Next up, let's visit his beat switches, one of Frank's calling cards, which we covered back in 2019. Channel Orange's Pyramid slowly transitions from glitchy keys into sprawling synths and dizzying 808s for the latter half. Nights open similarly, but uses chaos to introduce the tonal switch of the track, and seems to signal the second half of the entire album. Both tracks showcase Frank's musical range, but Nights beats out Pyramids by over 700,000 page views. Every night fucks every day up. Every day patches the night up. Oh God, you should match it, it's that kale. And that kind of musical prowess invited opportunity for some top tier collabs. On Channel Orange, Frank teamed up with hip hop recluse Andre 3000 for Pink Matter. If models are made for modeling, thick girls are made for cuddling. Switch worlds and we can huddle then. Who needs another friend? I need to hold your hand. You need no other man. We flee to other lands. The coveted three sack feature elevated this family produced track and started a collaboration between the two, with 3000 later hopping on Blonde solo reprise. Elsewhere on Blonde, Ocean enlisted R&B royalty Beyonce for the glittering pink and white. The pair had already teamed up on B's self-titled album back in 2013 for Superpower. Andre 3000 helped Pink Matter tally a whopping 2.3 million page views, beating out Pink and White by almost 1 million views. You good at being bad. a moment for the deep cuts of each project that showcased Frank's pin game. Channel Orange's Bad Religion focuses on one-sided love and highlights his honest approach to lyricism. I guess I'm just inspired to tell stories and you, you gotta make sure the listener is listening to you. And so if you put it in the form of a song, oftentimes if the, you know, if the song is striking enough, then you can really deliver the story, you know, most effectively while keeping the ear of the listener the whole time. So, you know, I guess it all starts with the stories for me. I can never make them love me, never make them love me, no, no, oh. It's a, it's a bad religion to be in love with someone who could never love you. Blonde's white Ferrari expands on this feeling and the minimalistic production invites listeners to bell along. We got so Familiar, spending each day of the year, white Ferrari, oh, good times. 
The race was tight, but Bad Religion scraped by with a few hundred votes to take the lead. Only Bad Religion could have me feeling the way I do. To round out the battle, let's take a look at two fan favorites, Super Rich Kids and Self Control. Super Rich Kids is peak nostalgia with this infectious hook and a feature from fellow Odd Future alum Earl Sweatshirt. I'm searching for a real love. Oh, real love. All right. Close your eyes to what you can't imagine. Blonde self control reminds fans of their first love, with Frank's daringly honest lyrics accompanied by distorted pleading from Austin Feinstein and Young Lee. Well, and you made me lose my self control. My self control. Keep a play. Although Super Rich Kids boasts one of Earl's most intricate flows, Self Control barely edges out the nostalgic cut to take the win. After looking at singles, musicianship, features, fan favorites, and deep cuts, there can only be one winner. The votes are in and it's a close one, but Channel Orange barely scrapes by for the crown. I'm not a big one for like sports references and stuff. But, you know, if, if the music industry was any sort of league, I guess this would be a championship thing. Pitting two bodies of work from an artist with such a large impact on music isn't easy. So we stuck to the data. But what album gets your pick? Let us know in the comments. I'm Delisa with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music.